So, ladies and gentlemen, we have here is going to be our partial sum. All right, and what they want us to do for this series is calculate the partial sum for 100 terms starting at 10 with the rule of 6n. So we know what we're doing is 6 times 10 plus 6 times 11 plus 6 times 12 dot, 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 times 6 times 100. Right? We're going to go all the way up. So we're going to start at 10, go all the way to 100. So if I give you a problem like this on a, on a test, plugging each one of these values and adding them up into your calculator is going to take you a very long time. Right? We need to make sure that we can apply Marco without any, adding any extra um, elements into how to use our formula. And remember, our formula stated that s of n equals, so the sum of our arithmetic sequence is going to be n divided by 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. All right, so what they're asking us to do is to find the sum of the um, series at, our, at 100. So I say s equals 100 equals n, which is going to be, um, so now we need to determine how many values do I have? How many values am I calculating? Okay, now this is where it gets a little bit confusing thinking about it because if I had a summation here of 101, we would say n, the number of terms that we're going to find, n equals what? 100 terms, right? OK. So now, ladies and gentlemen, if I have a summation and it's going at 100 to 10, OK, well, think about it. How did I get 100? How did I get 100? Did I get 100 by doing 100 minus 1? No, right? Because 100 minus 1 equals 99. So 10 minus 100 minus 10 would equal 90. But our answer is not 99. Our answer, our n total number of, is 100. So it's not 100 minus 10, but it's actually going to be an extra term on that, which will be 91. <laughs> Think about this. Do you understand if you start at 1 and go to 100, you have 100, you're adding up 100 terms, yeah. right? So if you start at 10, go to 100, that's not 90. Here it's going to be 91. Look it. This isn't 100. You didn't get 100 by doing 100 minus 1. If you, do, if you subtract these like you did here, here you're subtracting to get 90. 100 minus 10 gives you 90, right? 100 minus 1 is 99. We said it's not 99 terms. It's 100 terms. So therefore, you're not subtracting them. Well, you could subtract them, but you got to make sure you add that extra value because we're including 10 all the way up to 100. You're including 10, so it's going to be an extra value. So it'd be 91 over 2. Now we need to figure out what a sub 1 is. Well, a sub 1 is going to be this first term, right? So we do 6 of 10, which is 6 times a sub 1, which equals 60. And then we do a sub 100, 6 times a sub 100. Well, a sub 100 is going to be our last term, our 100th term, or our 91st term, which would be 100. So it'd be 6 times 100, which equals 600. So then that equals 45.5 times 660. And then if somebody wants to help me out by calculating that. I'm sorry? 30,030. Thank you. No, that's 30,030. 30,030. Extra. There you go. Right? Cool? Questions? Preguntas? Good.